Now, normally when an average person thinks about ethical behavior, they think about things like respect, fairness, caring, empathy. And then if they're asked to define what business ethics is, we usually think of things like human rights, anti-corruption, labor laws. But in the billing and debt collection industry, we have to think about some additional things as well. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today I want to talk about ethics, especially in relation to billing and debt collection agencies. And why is that just a little bit different than what most people understand to be ethics or a code of ethics? Now, normally when an average person thinks about ethical behavior, they think about things like respect, fairness, caring, empathy. And then if they're asked to define what business ethics is, we usually think of things like human rights, anti-corruption, labor laws. But in the billing and debt collection industry, we have to think about some additional things as well. So how do we find out what a standard code of ethics is in the billing and debt collection industry? Well, there are a couple of resources that are available to everyone. First, you can look up the FDCPA, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, and that pretty much governs behavior on what you are not supposed to do as a billing or debt collection company and agent. But because ethics is relevant to a particular group of people, then you probably want to go to the ACA International, which kind of lays out a code of ethics for the billing and debt collection industry, a sort of industry standard. Now, billing and debt collection agencies will start there and they'll usually expand on that and align their company mission statement partially with their code of ethics. And that allows for a little bit of personal style for billing and debt collection agencies when it comes to a code of ethics. And some of the things they may want to consider is respect, integrity, honesty, special considerations perhaps, and other rules that are acceptable to a particular group. So again, you can start with the ACA International. It's always a good idea to read the FDCPA, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, Especially with the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, you can learn what billing and debt collection agencies could do to violate a code of ethics. And finally, it's a good idea to ask the company that you partner with what their code of ethics is. And most of them have it in writing, so you can usually get a copy of that. But if you'd like to talk a little more about this, then give me a call, send me an email. I'd like to learn more about your company's code of ethics share with you our code of ethics, and we might be surprised that the two probably line up a lot more than we would initially think they would. But as always, be safe, be well, don't take any unnecessary risk, and I hope to talk with a lot of you soon. Take care. Hello, Sean Martin, Director of Business Engagement. So if you like this video, be sure to follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube. But don't forget to visit our website, check out the services we have to offer. Essentially, Partners Financial Services is a full service accounts receivable management firm. So we specialize in billing, loan servicing, and debt collections. Some of the industries that we serve are the education industry, everything uh, from a proprietary school all the way up to a college, university, higher educational level. Uh, also banking, financial institutions, credit unions, and then a handful of miscellaneous industries that we do some debt collections for. So yeah, give us a call, send us an email, let us know what you have in mind, and we can see if our services can line up with your objectives and help you get in a better place than you are today.